Hi guys! Today I'll show you how to make roasted cauliflower and carrots. This is a recipe you can easily double when you have lots of people for dinner. First, heat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 205 degrees Celsius. You will need a baking sheet to roast the vegetables. I'm using one head of cauliflower, about 2 pounds, 900 grams, and 5 medium carrots. This will give you 4 to 6 servings. Wash the cauliflower really well and take off all the outer leaves. Cut off the stalk. The florets should be cut into bite-sized pieces. Put them right on the baking sheet. Peel the carrots, wash them, and trim the ends. Slice them on a diagonal. They look better that way. Less than quarter inch thick. Place them on the baking sheet separately from the cauliflower. For herbs, I like to use fresh thyme. Chop up whichever herbs you like. Dried thyme or oregano is also fine. This is one tablespoon of fresh thyme. If you're using dried herbs, use one and a half teaspoons. Drizzle about three tablespoons of olive oil all over the vegetables. Three quarters of a teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon ground black pepper, half a teaspoon garlic powder, half a teaspoon onion powder, and the herbs. Mix the cauliflower and the carrots separately. You don't want to combine them in case one cooks faster than the other. Try to make sure all the pieces are touching the baking sheet. Put the cauliflower cut side down so it's flat. Cook in the heated oven for 30 minutes. Make sure to put the rack uh, towards the top of the oven, a few inches away from the top. Since most ovens are hotter on top, the vegetables will cook faster and they'll get a nice golden color on top. Check after 25 minutes since ovens vary. Taste and make sure they're tender. They're yummy, they're perfectly cooked. The top of the cauliflower gets a little brown. It almost looks like Parmesan cheese, even though we didn't add any. By the way, you can sprinkle grated Parmesan all over and put the baking sheet back in the oven for a few minutes. Add more salt if you like, and then mix the vegetables together. A squeeze of fresh lemon juice at the end is also nice. Cheese and lemon juice are of course optional. The roasted vegetables taste great without any additions. Give this recipe a try and let me know how you like it. Click on that bell icon to get notifications when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.